In this video, I'm going to show you how we're doing a rent to own property. So if you're a landlord or you're thinking about getting into the rental business, becoming a landlord, let me at least expose you or pull your coattail to something called rent to own where you actually don't rent to conventional tenants, but this is more of a untraditional, unconventional way to make actually, you make more money doing these type of properties versus doing conventional warm and fuzzy carpet and paint walking through the property tenants where they feel good and they, they move into a pretty house. So I'm going to show you how we do rent to owns on ugly properties. The roof is falling in on this house and we don't do any repairs before we sell them. And I want you to deploy this strategy too, because I'm sick and tired of getting calls from landlords around the country. Chris, I can't make my rent. I can't get my tenants aren't paying rent. When you do rent to own, you don't have to worry about that, all right? So we're gonna take you to the property. I'm gonna show you how we market these things. What do, what, what do the signs look like to attract these tenant buyers? So you'll know how to do it too. Let's get right to it. All right, class, it's Chris Haskins with TheRealEstateRoundup.com. My mission, my ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. So we just did a rent to own last week, AKA well, the, the jargon that you and I will use, not for the public. The industry jargon is gonna be a lease option, seller finance, land contract, or contract for deed. Those are the words you have to understand. So if you don't know those words, there's a link in the video description to the Barron's Real Estate Guide. It gives you all these definitions and terms so you'll know how all this stuff is defined. He who defines stuff Went, run stuff, right? If you can define things, what's green, what's blue, what's rent to own, what's an appraisal, what's a home inspection? You gotta know these definitions, all right? So rent to own is where we actually lease the property with an option to buy it, right? So the buyer, if they fulfill all of their terms and they make us pay all the down payment, I mean, they, they pay all the monthly payments over time, then they own the property. So this particular one, we're doing something called a land contract or a contract for deed. So as long as they fulfill the contract or the terms, they will then get the deed at the end. So we, we're selling this thing. We're gonna be collecting payments for 30 years and I added it up and it's a lot of money, right? So let's get into how this stuff works. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take you to the property. You'll see what it looks like, how we set our signs up, what do the signs look like, and then we'll come back here and we'll go over the numbers so you can see how does this, all this stuff play out? How do you make money doing rent to owns? Okay. So I'm here at the intersection right by the property. I want you to see where we put our signs up to find these rent to own buyers, okay? So go to where you see the major intersections and usually they're not going to last because of the code compliance, but we come on the weekend, hopefully they won't be here. So I'm gonna put one way out in the middle of the, in the, middle of the street here. I made it without getting killed. And then we'll put another one here. Now arrows, right, points that way. Darn, can we get it in the ground? Okay, so I'll, huh? You can't be doing this, you're too old for this. I know, my back all toe up, I'm running. So we'll probably put another one over there to notify the passers-by, is that what it is? So we got a house down here for rent to own. And look at the area. We got a Lidl right here. It's beautiful. Nice area here as we go down to the property. So we put the signs at the major intersection. You saw that. And then as you're coming down, we put them as you're getting closer to the property to make sure that they see which way to go. Let's stick it right there so we know the property. You can show them down there too. The property's going down that way. And that way, when people driving by, they'll be able to see it and say, oh, I wonder what that is. Usually people drive around over the weekends to kind of like see, what is this? Do I have a store right here or something? So you're just selling stuff. Huh. I don't know. So they're driving around and they can say, oh, I wonder what that is. I let's go take a look at it. Okay. All right. So we're here at the property. I want to show you exactly what these people are getting. We got this thing sold in a week. So first of all, let's take a look at the neighborhood. Now, there are a lot of cars. But I want you to notice that it's on a cul-de-sac, which people love. People love living on dead-end streets. Why? Because no traffic. 
You can let your kids run out here without getting hit by a car, right? So we got pretty cool people taking, our house is the worst one, obviously. It's going to need a roof. And if you, wow, yeah, that's terrible. Come on inside, let's take a look so you see what people are getting for giving us $15,000, $20,000 down payment, all right? Thank you for working with me today, Taylor. So you can see this is a normal house, townhouse, it's a living room here. Notice that the ceiling is leaking there. And living room here, I mean, little den area right here. We got the kitchen. You can just stay back there, Taylor, and give him a nice pan. I'll walk you through it. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if they left the kitchen toe up. No, nope. not bad. Lunch, dinner. So this is actually better than a lot of the houses that I've done. It's got a kitchen. I don't think the central heating and air works though. So we got a bathroom here, vanity, toilet, tub. If you notice, it doesn't have a shower valve. Another vanity here. This is gonna be bedroom number one. Bedroom number two, we could just pan in there. Bedroom number three. So that's what it looks like. So when we get to the office, I'm gonna to explain to you, why is it? Who in their right mind would give me money and pay me monthly rent to live in this thing? My daughter was asking earlier. Let's take a look outside real quick, see what the yard. This is a bonus too, guys. You get a fenced in yard. Isn't that cool? Fenced in all the way? We gotta get this grass cut. The siding is okay, it's gonna need a new door. It's little things. It's the little things, right? So let's go to the office, work out the numbers. I'll show you what, how we put this thing together to sell it on a lease option slash land contract slash seller financing. Let's go. All right, so you've seen the property inside. It's a mess, roof leaking. It I mean, it's tore up. And the garage is good lord. I don't, they, I don't know why they would chop the tree down and put the tree in the house. I, never, I didn't get that one. So a lot of people ask me, Chris, why would anybody do a rent to own? Who wants to do that? Well, remember our tagline, we said that we provide home ownership for people that can't necessarily go out and get a loan. We're dealing with challenged credit people, tradesmen, people that have a down payment that don't want to, actually some people don't want to get a loan with a bank for 30 years. They'd rather deal with private individuals, which that is okay. I'm here to serve that crowd. So with rent to owns or let's say land contracts, you get three paydays. That's why I love them. With a traditional, ordinary, conventional rental, I haven't figured out a way to get the tenant to pay me more than once a month. I haven't figured that out yet. But with rent to owns, you get paid, the first payday is when you rent it. We get large down payments when we rent these things. And I'm gonna show you what the down payment is down here. The second way we get paid is on monthly payment. That's gonna be the rent. And the third way we get paid is on the back end sale when the tenant buyer actually cashes us out. So let's go over all that stuff right now. All right, I don't know how I did this, I did backwards. So the first payday when we go to rent, the only way you're going to be able to do one of these rent to own things, if you have a down payment. And Chris, you asked me, well, how much is the down payment? How much, how much should, I, should I be charging? We don't even set it. We let the prospective tenant buyers tell us how much they have. And here's a, here's a secret for you. If somebody won't tell you how much of a down payment they have, that means they don't have any. How many times a guy calls and says, what's the down payment? I'm out at RIP Lonnie Scruggs, my mentor. He says, Chris, we always say, that down, we are, we are flexible as long as it's something reasonable. Somebody says, well, I'll give you $1,000. I'm like, nice talking to you, three grand. I don't even wanna hear it. So they have to tell us what they have. Like Ron LeGrand says, all we do is present questions and let them answer. <laughs> if you don't put the words in people's mouths, your business will thrive. Just ask questions. All right, so the down payment we got out of this one, remember our first one is the, uh, 
A first one is going to be that when you when you first rent it to the tenant buyer, you get a down payment. The only way to get into these things, you have to have a down payment and verifiable income. No renting to dope boys. All right, we don't we don't do that. Just don't do that. All right. So the down payment on this is what we have out. We had to pay forty five k to actually close on it. And if you want to see that video, it's right here. You can see how we put this one together. It's a pre foreclosure. We had to bring the loan current and bought it subject to and all that stuff. We put out forty five k, but we got. 15,000 the next week. See, we sold this thing in a week. So actually we had we at we had 30,000 out on this property. So put out 45, get 30 back, means you got 30 liquid out, okay? So that's how we make money on the front end. Now, just because you might think that's a lot of money, right? But we don't always have 45k out. What if we sometimes we only have 5k out or 3,000 or 10,000. So just because your, your down payment isn't as much as you put out doesn't mean it's not a good deal. Let me repeat that. Just because you can't collect, this is what we collected, how much you put out doesn't mean you don't have a good deal. We got 30 out and it's going to be working for us. I'm going to show you that. Stay with me. You, got, you can't learn this stuff on the 30 or one minute reel on Instagram or even on TikTok. All right, next way, we uh, monthly. So our monthly payment, what we have going out is 1075 and we're collecting 1551 on our land con on our uh, contract for deed. Now, this guy is paying taxes and insurance. So it's actually a little bit more. He'll, he'll have to pay his own insurance. So roughly our cash flow is going to be $476. <coughs> so let me help you understand. We put out 30 to make $476 a month. That's where the magic is, y'all. That's the magic. How many times can you put out? 30 grand and make almost $500 a month. How many times can you do that? Most people are happy to make one or $200 a month on cash flow. That's if they're securing debt and putting out large down payments and getting bank loans. Okay. So that's a pretty good cash flow. Now the, the, when we, oh yeah, on the back end sale. So the back end sale is our purchase price. We paid 165 for it. Here's the kicker y'all. So many kickers in this video, Good gracious. People are saying, how are you gonna sell that house for $195,000 when it's all tore up like that? We sold it for $195,000. So our spread here is $30,000. That's how much profit we'll get when he cashes us out on the back end if he was to ca uh, carry this thing for the whole duration of the 30 years. So we're making money here, we're making money monthly, and we're making money on the down payment. Now, Chris, you might be asked, well, he gave you 15000 That goes towards the purchase price. So we're, we're actually financing $180,000 for 30 years. So now, in essence, we are turning ourselves into the bank. The bank always wins, y'all. Bank gets monthly payment. They get your down payment. The house burns down. The bank gets paid. If you stop paying, the bank takes the house back. Bank, the bank is... In the, in the gambling, the bank is the house in the casino. So you, the bank never loses. They, they put themselves into a position to not lose. And I want you to be in that same position too. So all these things here is the reason why you might want to at least consider doing rent to owns. But here's the icing on the cake. You see, we didn't do anything to that property. Zilch. Nothing. I didn't do anything to this property. I literally bought it on Monday and sold it on Friday, okay? So the reason we can do that is because people are out there trying to buy houses that can't qualify for financing. And when we step in and fulfill that need for the market, that's when your business blows up, y'all, okay? <laughs> that's when you're gonna be able to write your own ticket because there's always gonna be somebody out there that needs financing. I promise you, it, it will never go away. What the key business, what my favorite business to be in it's financing, all right? So make sure you take a second to subscribe to the channel, like this content, and share with anybody else that needs to understand or other landlords or prospective landlords. Oh, I can't get my rent. What's going on, Chris? I can't get rent. Everybody's struggling to get rent from these tenants. Stop it. Why don't I care? If I, I don't even care if these people ever pay the rent. Why? Because I got $15,000 out of them. Typically, let's say you rent, rent it for $1,500. What was our rent here? $1,500. You're going to get that one security deposit, right? Oh, man, I got security deposit in my hand. We get 15 k I don't care if you pay rent ever or you're late. It doesn't matter to me because I'm, I'm already ahead of the game. So we're already months ahead. If they, if they miss rent, I've got this in the kitty that I can pull from. You know, we'll get you out.
take my time as opposed to having one month or even two months security deposit. All right. So just keep that in mind when you're out there collecting your little monthly rent. All right. Not to say that is a bad thing. Just consider it. Okay. Turn yourself into the bank. All right. I'll see you on the next video roundup. Peace.